And President Bola Tinobu's promise to keep the ground running from day one appears to be unfolding. The stands on subsidy remover, uh, meeting with service chiefs, as well as um, other critical issues, uh, part of what Nigerians are now seeing as him marching words with action. Experts are using this to also assess his readiness to affect the life of the average Nigerian. TVC News, Happy Delawa has details. The first pronouncement by President Bola Tinubu on the day of his inauguration that four subsidies gone set the direction of his administration. That speech immediately led to panic buying of oil, the return of queues in petrol stations across the country, and the increase in pump prices in some filling stations. But the removal of the four subsidy was reality that was going to happen with all three leading presidential candidates pledging to take this tough decision if they won the election. The Center for Human Rights and Civic Education is saying there is need for an urgent government intervention in the critical areas of the economy. Their argument is that government should have a sustainable plan first before implementing the first subsidy removal. Ongoing events in our country continue to trust a historical body on us to stand up for our dear country and for our people. Distinguished colleagues, when Macbeth says, "Tis had begun, tis bad begun, make strong them a strong themselves by ill," it simply means that earlier bad deeds beget much worse as when motivated by evil. The above quote is not meant to raise alarm; it's just call to action, a plea to all where many. Nigerians to be on high alert against unpatriotic individuals dressed as politicians who are clearly committed to harm the welfare and well-being of the Nigeria people. We have said so much about elections in the past that we are sham, for instance. Efforts to reform the road that led us there have been and still be contested by the so-called powers that be. Their mistrust in the sincere effort to strengthen and grow our nascent democracy betrays their insincerity. A word of caution, however, is that Nigeria must be proactive on issues of common interest because the forces behind undemocratic and corrupt practices that continue to undermine the public good are relentless in recruiting lackeys who are most willing to cater our general efforts. But the APC Professional Forum is standing solely with President Bola Tinubu, insisting he only let Nigerians know the state of the economy he had inherited and what was not sustainable. While welcoming a review of workers' minimum wage, they urge workers to give the new administration a breather and let government run its course on the matter. Be sober and calm and give the president support to address the myriad of problems that are challenging us. Um, uh, we believe that uh, NLC and uh, TUC, and this is my own personal opinion, that is not for, for the board, uh, the, uh, uh, an appendage or an arm of the, uh, what do you call it, the Labour Party. And uh, we see them as, uh, I mean, uh, acting, I mean, in a way and manner that uh, seem to suggest that uh, uh, patriotism is not factored into what, uh, what they did, as far as I'm concerned. It's an individual opinion. A new price template of 488 Naira per litre in Lagos and 537 Naira and 557 Naira in Abuja and Bernou State, announced by the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, led to the disappearance of queues in most filling stations. But it would take a while for the effect of the huge price hike to fully walk themselves through the country's various value chains. Many have continued to blame corruption and inefficiency plaguing the administration of refineries. They've also alleged that those found wanting of not making the refineries work should be brought to book. Habid Alawal, TVC News, 